friends and hello fellow vintage lovers. I have a partner today. Hi, Ash. Can you say hi to everyone? Um, she loves to see what I'm doing. She thinks I'm her mom. She is a rescue. She's, gosh, she's at least eight or nine now, which is crazy. Um, she's probably going to try to get on this scarf. <laughs> Ash, no, we're selling this scarf. This scarf is for sale. Um, anyway, that's Ash. This is the final installment of my Highway 80 sale. The dogs heard me say her name. We have five dogs and three cats, and they're all rescues, and they're wonderful, but they're loud. Okay, so this is the final installment of the Highway 80 sale hauls. There's a lot of Ellie Smith here, guys. Oh my goodness, amazing. I finally found some good glass, and I was just so, so excited. So, first of all, hi everyone. Hello, new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I am trying to put out content on a more regular basis. I also have live sales three times a week. Sometimes there's a pop-up as well. Uh, my live sales are Mondays at 6 Eastern, 5 Central. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, I have sales uh, with Sabrina. Simon says, let's make a deal. So make sure you're always checking out my community page. Hopefully you're getting notifications. But all the items that I'm showing in this haul will be for sale. So without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first set here is, this is Federal Glass. This is the Madrid pattern. It is a creamer and sugar really pretty. I believe they call this color topaz. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I love the deco looking handles. Really pretty set. Then here, I just picked these up because I do sell jewelry as well, and I thought these were beautiful. Um, they are modern, but I just, I fell in love with them, and I thought someone else would love them too. Then over here, I have a couple pieces of silver plate that I haven't researched yet. Um, this one is not marked, but look at this gorgeous piece. Here is the bottom. I haven't tried to clean these up or do anything with them. Now, this one does have a marking, does it? No, it doesn't. That's right. So, neither of them are marked, but look at the feed on these. So, I will always pick these up because people use them a lot for their displays, uh, for risers in their display. I personally have some of these in my kitchen where I put um, items on, on them as well. Yes, some of my favorite trinkets, etc. Jewelry is great on these. So yeah, this one, when I did a quick lens on it, it said this was French, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but it is beautiful. I love this floral design. Okay, so on to the Ellie Smith. We do have some glowing action here. So this compote, is massive. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, three of these pieces are amber, amber glass. Uh, then there's a larger matching. This is the daisy and button pattern. Gorgeous. Now I did check these for glow and it's actually really dark outside. We're getting a lot of storms today. I cannot quite tell. It looks like there's a little bit of glow there. Let's see if you can see it. Mm, maybe, because sometimes amber glass does glow. Sometimes there is cadmium in it. I'm going to have to check this a little bit closer. But if you want to see glow, look at this gorgeous piece. This is also Ellie Smith. And I got these all at the same place. This was, again, at the Highway 80 sale. It looks like there's some more dirt down there. I think these were probably, like, stored in someone's garage or something for a really long time because um, they're dirty. Well, they were. I've cleaned them a couple of times now, but it looks like I need to clean the inside of this one a little bit more. This piece is beautiful. Um, if I remember correctly, this is dated from the 50s. I could be wrong. If someone knows for sure, let me know. Then I got this very large canister. This is also Ellie Smith, Daisy and Button. I've got Ash here. Honey, I know you want me to pet you, but we're, we're doing a haul video really fast. This one needs to be cleaned a little bit more as well, but yeah, just amazing. There is a little chip on the inside of this lid. There it is right there. Um, 
I can forgive that because it's such a great piece. I looked these up a few minutes ago and there's some sold for around $70 on these big canisters. So it was a great pickup for me. I picked up this little basket. Um, this is from Portugal. Hand painted, signed by the artist. Looks like 1979 perhaps or 89. I just thought it was beautiful. I love the handle. I'm, you know, definitely a boho girl at heart, but I just thought this was beautiful. This is amazing. This is a cast iron um, candelabra. Maybe you would put it on your mantle. There's so many things you can do with this. I do believe this is modern. Haven't really looked into it too much. I just put it on this table a few minutes ago. I've had so many things to go through, but here is this candelabra. It's amazing how many does it have. It has five um, places to put candles, so this is fantastic. Then I got this. This is a vintage, um, probably a magazine holder or something to hang on the wall or have on a counter or on a table somewhere. I just love the heart design. You know, a lot of people really are still into rustic, especially out here where I live, so it was just like a no-brainer for me to pick that up. Then down here, this is a glass company that I really didn't know anything about. This is Sheraton Glass, and I love this. First of all, look at the feet. Okay, I'm a sucker for Greek keys, and look at this Greek key border. It is absolutely amazing. Now, I did see a little bit of glow, just a little bit, on the edges here. Let's see if I can get it to show. Sometimes it's really, really hard. Um, the, the lighting in here is just so bad right now. Severe weather on the way, so I had to rush to get this video out, but this is just beautiful. Um, next to this is this pewter pineapple, a little, you know, appetizer tray or, you know, whatever you want it to be. I don't think this was burnt. I'm just really into pineapples lately. I think a lot of people are. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Then I had to get this little beaded girl. I will always get them. She's in very good condition. And she's super, super cute with her little muff there. I just love her. I'm trying to get her to focus. There we go. Is she not adorable? Then I got this bank. Look at this pink poodle, y'all. She is so, so cute. Um, she is vintage. Let's see, where is her marking? thought she had a name. I see it though. Uh, made in China. This is Mary Kay. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. I wonder if this was a giveaway or something. But is she not adorable, y'all? I love her. Makes sense that she's Mary Kay. And this is a depression glass, uh, like a console dish, perhaps. It has this beautiful floral etching. Um, I believe this could be several different uh, glass companies, so I don't know exactly who it is, but it's beautiful. And I keep picking up the clear glass, y'all. It's coming back. Then I got these two bamboo stands. Or little easels. I like that they have this little chain here. This is real bamboo. Very, very cool. I'm always going to pick things like that up. Then this that Ash keeps wanting to sit on. Uh, this is a beautiful scarf. Okay. Um, it's black, but it has these beautiful um, colored flowers on it. And of course, I love this little embroidery, these little floral tassels. Um, just really, really cute. Love it. Then I got these. Now, I've picked these up before. These are bandanas, and I think they're they're freaking amazing. Um, I think they're from the 90s, maybe the 80s. Southwestern design. You've got coyotes. You have cacti. You have a snake, which I love. There's a lizard here. Um, these are just really, really cool, and I love the colors in them. Okay, I have one more item to show you guys, and I just realized I didn't bring it out here, so I've got to put it on the table. Okay, guys, here it is. It's not in very good lighting. Let me move it over a little bit. I have not cleaned this up yet. I'm not complaining about having to clean anything because I got such amazing deals. So I picked this up, and I thought, is this Italian? So it's this amazing ceramic lamp. It did not have its shade, which is fine. Um, this is teak. I'm gonna have to find the perfect shade for this. Um, I am willing to sell this. 
you know, shipping will probably be high just because, well, it may not be too high. Depending on where you live, um, it's not really heavy, but the size is the issue. But this is actually Danish, guys. Um, I got this on the first day. I was looking at jewelry. There's a a person who sets up every year for the highway sale. And I saw him last year. He has amazing jewelry, Native American jewelry, amber, antiques. There were several pieces I wanted, but I'm trying so hard not to buy anything for myself these days. I have enough. And um, I was looking through his jewelry, and then I turned around and I noticed this lamp. And it was $10, guys. He said that he got it. Um, in an attic in a house he was like doing a closeout on like an auction closeout I believe but let me try to show you these colors it is fantastic I love it love it love it love it now let me show you the the cord I don't know if this works yet I didn't put a, a light bulb in it you know you may want to rewire it if you pick it up just because those old plugs aren't always the safest or the most reliable but amazing i can't believe i forgot to show this it's just incredible the colors are amazing how mid-century is this oh my gosh i love it okay thank you so much for watching this haul hopefully i will be able to put out some more content um, next week and i hope you can make it to my live sale if you can please leave a comment hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already it really does help the algorithm, and I really, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, just getting new subscribers means the world to me. So, thanks so much, guys. Ash, can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Aw, -bye. you're so pretty. Okay, guys, take care. Love you guys. Bye.